Okay, so looking at figure one, give two pieces of evidence the cell was undergoing mitosis, explain your answers. Again, so figure one, not figure two, so just make sure we're um, highlighting that. Let's just underline that. I think we could probably highlight that. Should have done that in the analysis. Okay, so ordinarily we've stained the DNA. The DNA will accept the stain, but ordinarily it's just folded up and twisted up like a big spaghetti pile. You can't see individual chromosomes unless they've condensed. So that's m almost definitely a mark here. Also, the, the form of each chromosome, we have these kind of, well, they, they're not that X-shaped, but you can see they're joined by a centromere, and we have two sister chromatids, which means the DNA has replicated. So um, in preparation for uh, mitosis, I'm going to say number one, individual chromosomes are visible because the chromosomes have condensed. Don't think we need to say that ordinarily, like during interphase, or let's say maybe during G1, chromosomes are not visible. I think that's probably enough to be honest. We are getting lots and lots of space here. We don't have to fill the space. If you know your facts, you should be writing less, not more. And then second of all, I can say, we can say the DNA has replicated um, in preparation for mitosis and is formed of two sister chromatids joined by a centromere. Okay, DNA is replicated in preparation for mitosis chromosomes in figure one. Oh dear, I made my figure one even less readable. Figure one are formed of two sister chromatids joined by a centromere. And always that self-check in carbs, that self-check, super important. You at least read through your answer. Have you made any super mistakes? I was doing an OCR paper last night. It was late. It was uh, paper three. 2018. If you want to watch me make a lot of mistakes, I forgot to self-check. I probably dropped five marks on the paper. Five marks is huge. Huge. Five marks is a grade, potentially. And it was just because I didn't proofread my answers. I was tired. It was late at night. I had done more than one paper that day. But learn. Learn from my mistakes. And yeah, learn from your own mistakes. Okay, place the box. Which stage of mitosis? Well, they've condensed. They haven't lined up. So we can say... Um, Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, we can say um, prepare, middle, apart. Oh, I've already got the A, A, P, O, D. Uh, well, I'm going to put double P, that's not how you spell apart, but it's just going to work apart. And then, oh, what's my, what's what comes next? It's when the nuclei prepare, middle, apart. I can't remember what telophase is. <laughs> telophase is the double fried egg, is when the cytoplasm divides and you form a new you form a new nucleus. I can't remember. But there we go. So prepare, it's preparing. They haven't lined up down the middle, they're not being pulled apart, um, and the cytoplasm isn't devising. It's most definitely prophase. Okay, so when preparing cells, they put in a solution that was slightly um higher or less negative water potential. So basically water will move into the cell by osmosis. The cell will expand in three dimensions, moving the, th the chromosomes apart. Hmm. I'm gonna say cell and, oh, the nucleus is gonna break down. I was gonna write cell and nucleus, but the nuclear envelope will break down. So that's not that relevant. Water will move into the cell by osmosis, full stop. Cell volume will increase. And chromosomes will move apart. What have they said in the question? I don't want to repeat the question, Stem. Chromosomes, we move further apart in order to reduce overlapping. 
will increase maybe in three dimensions. I'm going to put EG a balloon expanding. I think I think that demonstrates I understand whether my wording is a bit woolly or not, which I struggle with because I'm not a very good writer, even though we're basically aiming to get the hit 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 the marking points on the mark scheme. Sub volume will increase in three dimensions, e.g. a balloon expanding. So all cell contents will move apart. Kind of like the Big Bang. I guess there's another analogy there that's expanding in all directions and therefore everything is moving further away from each other. The dark stain suggests one way the structure of chromosomes could differ along its length. Along its length. It's the only thing that kind of worries me a little bit. So we can say histones... DNA is tightly coiled around histones. So DNA is tightly coiled around histones, full stop. Staining will vary depending on the density of the DNA coiling and the location of the histone proteins. I just thought I'd demonstrate I knew that there were proteins. In figure two, the chromosomes are arranged in homologous pairs. What is a homologous pair of chromosomes? Okay, well, the, the features you need to know, one is inherited from your mother, one is inherited from the father. They contain the same genes, but different alleles. Same genes at the same loci, but potentially I'm going to put potentially in brackets. Obviously, you may or you may not have the same gene from your mum and your dad. It's possible that they're the same, but they don't have to be the same. Um, whereas the sister chromatids will have identical genes and identical alleles because they are literally sort of carbon copies of one another. One is inherited from each parent. Two ways in which the arrangement of prokaryotic DNA is different from the arrangement of human DNA. Um, we can talk about plasmids and we can talk about the nucleus and we can talk about histones again. Prokaryotic DNA is in a loop, human DNA is not. This is a good example. If you're doing a past paper here, then I would list all the differences you can think of because the, all of those will be on the mark scheme. Any one of those could come up as the individual one mark question for your um, in your exam, so again, in past paper practice here, I would go through and list all of the all the possible that you can think of. And then if you don't get them, then you're again you're testing yourself on as to the greatest level of detail as you can. 